guys welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. I'm going to tell you uh, a wee variant of the Red Arch Green Peter. Now the, the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 and size 8. The thread we're going to use is the, the Uni 380 in black. So we're just going to come in and get our thread started. A couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Run on a few mil of thread and remove the waist tag. The rib of the fly is an oval gold tinsel. This is an oval gold tinsel in size 14. This is the Vanyard's oval gold. Now I'm just going to work this down in, in open turns. Now, that's not going to come out. That's solid. So it's not all the time that you need to put a complete bed of thread down. Now the, this is the red SLF. I'll just show you the wee dispenser box in case you want to look at it bad. So that's it there. Davy Wanton's SLF dubbing. So, so you see, you get the, the, the full work there with the, with the colours. You should be able to get that in most uh, tackle shops. So we're just going to use the red for the butt. And the amount of red that you want in your butt, if you're tan this flat, it's up to you. So I'm just going to slide that up, so we'll get us started, once you get it on the hook you can, you can tighten up, just bring your thread in front, this is the, the Dark Olive SLF, now you can use seals for, use any dubbing you want guys, there's that many variants of the, the Green Peter, but it's a crack and fly to have in your boxes. No trout angler should be without this, I would say. Now, we're just going to work this up. The body, take another wee pinch. Just going to do this there, just bring your thread in front. The body hackle is going to be a red game the saddle. That's it here. So we're just going to pick a, a nice feather off. Just break away the rubbish at the bottom. Strip some of the fibers away to burr the stem of the hackle. Offer this up to the hook. Nice tight turns. Come in and trim away the stem of the hackle and then just palmer this down. Now I need to get two three turns going at the shoulder of the fly. That means the top of the body. Then the amount of hackles going down the body or turns sorry is up to you. Now I'm gonna put four in. I'm just coming round into the fifth one, keeping a hold of the tip of the hackle. Just come round with your oval gold tinsel and then you're looking four turns of the oval gold up the body, sweep everything back, bring your oval gold up in front nice and tight, follow that around with your thread and get some nice tight turns in. Come in, trim away your oval gold, you can bring away the tip of the hackle at the back. Now just come in and with a velcro here or if you've got a designated dubbing brush and just give us a good hiding. See this wee fly, honestly, the scruffier the batter at times, with this wee pattern. It's not happy with that wee hackle at the back, so it's just worth broke it off. It just hasn't broke off clean enough, so I'm just going to take it away. Now the wing, I'm going to double up on the wing, just because it's a, a size 8 that I'm tying on, so what you need is, you need a, a right and a left hand fasten quill. So I've got these off here just to speed the the video up a bit if I can. Now I'm just going to get these lined up. So this is the the first couple of slips that we're going to put on. And that's in there. Now you want your the tips of the hand fasten quill or the feather just probably just come on just slightly past the bend of the hook. Just come in and hold them. 
room with a pension loop and a couple of take turns. Alright, that's ground. Come in and trim away the the access. Right, see when you're putting these hand fastened or these type of flies, the feather wing flies are traditional way of tan. Don't be being too fussy. I'll tell you why. See once you start to cast this, the whole wing's gonna go out of shape. All you're trying to do here is a fly tire or an angler, in my view, is to give a general representation of the wing. That's it. Now, I'm going to come in with another two slips that I have off here. So I'll just get these into my, into my hand, get them prepared. Now, just get them lined up the best that you can. That's them there. So we're just going to offer these up. Just come around and just hold them on the hook around with a pinch and loop. And take a couple of turns to see what way you're sitting. That's ground too, so just come in, hold your wing again, and trim away the, the excess. Don't let go of the wing. Then bring your thread to the eye and back up. Now, what I'm going to do here is you can put a another red game haggle on the front if you wish it's up to you but I'm going to use a this is a just a waiting 4B it's like a light furnace type great wee haggle a hand haggle because this is this is the wet fly now if you want to tie this with, as a dry fly you would probably just use a shorter more spike ear type of body haggle and then you would put on a, a shorter uh, saddle haggle at the front. You want the, the haggles to be sitting out straight if you like. But this is a wee bad version of it that I'm tan. So we're just going to come in with our haggle. Stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. Come in with a couple of turns. going to fold the tip back. Bring my thread up over the, the tip and the haggle. Just getting the level bit of thread down there at the front. And I'm looking two turns this haggle should be more than enough. You don't want to sort of way hide your wing. You want that wing to be to be visible if you can. Right. It's going to do me there. I'll follow this around with my thread. Get a couple of tight turns in to secure the haggle. Strip away any of the, some of the excess fibre off the haggle because I'm going to fold this back. Hold everything back and then bring your thread from the eye up and just build up your your head. Keeping your thread tight, you can break away the stem of the haggle. And then we're just going to come in and put in a quick finish. Just tidying the head up here at the same time. Put the thread tight, come in and trim away your tan thread. Now, that's the, that's the wee pattern. Then we're just going to come in, first coat on the head. Just the wee drop of super glue. Now, you don't want this going under the hand haggle. It'll just ruin the wee pattern on you, so just take your time. Right the whole way right round. And there you go guys, that's just a variation on the Green Peter. Now, tie a few of those up, they're a great fly to have in your box. Now, if I was tying a 10, I would prob probably still double up on the wing. But if I'm going down to 12 and 14s, just one set of the um, quill, hand quill slips will, will do the job for you. But have a few of those in your box, great, great pattern, fantastic pattern. So there you go guys, hopefully you've got something out of that. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. People's time is precious these days, so thank you. And until the next time, please stay safe and tight lines.